here it comes. One, two, three, the cookie bee. keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down and the storm. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Charlene Town and we talk all things health, fitness, beauty, lifestyle. We talk all the things because those are the things that gets this girl right here through chronic pain and chronic illness. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. It is two sleeps until Christmas. Two, 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 two sleeps until Christmas. How exciting is that? I am so excited. This time of year, all the twinkle lights brings this girl so much joy. Today's video, you guys, is just a fun, lighthearted vlog. Over the weekend, we discovered a really beautiful little quaint Christmas tree farm that we explored and we had so much fun at. I bought some really cool home decorations and ornaments from there. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and we're gonna find a really fun place to put them. So it's our adventure at the Christmas tree farm. It's some holiday decorating. I'll show you some of our home decor. We're also making Christmas cookies because you guys, I know I have psoriatic arthritis and I can't eat the cookies. Like I've got SIBO gut issues, I can't eat the cookies. I get it. But for me personally, making the cookies is really the thing that brings me the most joy. I have been making these sugar cookies since I moved out. I discovered this rolled sugar cookie recipe and I've just perfected it throughout the years. And so it's been so much fun. I absolutely love it. It's so much fun to do it with Liv. Liv and I have been making Christmas cookies for the last two weeks. It's been amazing. We've been delivering cookies to friends, to the people that we know at the grocery store who are really kind to us, to you know my chiropractor's office, just to everyone. We've been delivering cookies to so many people. Liv wants to walk around to everybody's house and wish everybody a Merry Christmas. So it's been just so much fun. So we've been delivering cookies while we do that. So I just wanna bring you guys along. It's almost Christmas and I just wanted a fun lighthearted video that I hope brings a smile to your face and some joy to your day. If this is content that you guys like to see, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel. Don't forget, a little light goes a long way in the YouTube algorithm and this girl so appreciates it. If you hit that little notification bell, you'll never miss another video with this girl right here because it'll send you a notification when my next video comes out. And without further ado, you guys, let's jump into this really fun Christmas vlog. I'm so excited to show you guys what we've been up to the last week and let's just jump into it. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. A snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love. Making cookies with Olivia. She's a pro. Are you a pro? You're gonna show them the cookie cutter? Hi, hi. and this is the cookie cutter. What we're gonna do. What we're gonna do. Hi, hi, Gon. Olivia, and this is the 
our cookie cutters. So we can make cookies. This is, hi, this is the snowman one. And we can use it for cookies. Guys, we're gonna make some Christmas cookies with Olivia. These are my favorite. Are they your favorite? The uh -uh. sugar cookies? So it says first we gotta cream together the butter and the sugar, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll have this recipe linked in the description box down below and the frosting recipe that we use later. <gasps> Are we gonna decorate cookies with Michaela and Emma and baby Cora today? A uh, baby Cora can't shake them. Yeah, no, not yet. Next year, maybe. Uh, um, maybe I can shake them for baby Cora. Well, that would be really nice. We need a cup of sugar. No, Here's a tip with this recipe. I've got a couple really fun tips and I'll have everything down below as well. But I make this recipe in halves because every time I make this recipe, the full recipe all at once, it's five cups of flour. I break my mixer every time. I've gone through so many hand mixers, it's ridiculous. So now I just half it. So I make two halves, if that makes sense. Okay, you gotta hold it nice and steady. Okay, go ahead, dump it now. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, we're gonna turn this I, guy on. I bet, I bet this, and I bet. Okay, go slow. Wait, yeah. Okay, now pick it up one. Okay, now we gotta crack our eggs, and we're gonna put them in this ramekin to make sure. Are you, are you, I crack the eggs, and you break them. Okay, perfect, yep, good. Well, no, Dada breaks the cells, and I... Oh, that sounds like a great crack. Oh, maybe do one more like right here in the okay. center. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Just like that. You wanna hold this? Two hands, hold the ramekin, two hands, okay? Tilt your head back just a little bit. There you go, so your hair's not in it. Perfect. Do you wanna pour those in? You wanna hold it? Perfect. I got me. You are a pro at making sugar cookies. Huh. Yeah, oh, oh dear. Aunt Mom is apparently not. It's a very full bottle. Okay, that's okay, it's a little bit extra. Excellent, okay, ready? You wanna turn it on? We're gonna turn on the oven, so if you hear that in the background, that's what you're hearing. We need to preheat our oven to 400 degrees. It's been too, too, Emma, so can I cookies? Well, we're gonna bring the dough that we're making over to Emma's, because it's gotta sit for an hour in the fridge. So we have that dough already made. Do you wanna pour this in? One cup, two, perfect. Okay, two and a half cups flour, perfect. Okay, so we need a teaspoon baking powder. Okay, ready? There you go. Perfect. And then salt. Are you ready? Go ahead and turn it off. That's it. Okay, gentle path. All right. She's got her own style. Okay, ready? All right. Okay, let's give it a second and then we'll pop it up a little bit, okay? Look at those, so fun. So much fun. Okay, can you put that down for just a second? Okay, so you guys, I've pre-made some dough already because I want the girls to be able to do cookie cutters and cut out the cookies, but I don't want them to wait the whole time in order to decorate them. So we're gonna cook some cookies right now. So I've pre-made some dough already so that we can bake them this morning, decorate when we get there, and have cookies in the oven as well. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you weird? So I'm just gonna, cause this dough has to sit for an hour in the fridge and we have an appointment to get to. So, <laughs> you yeah, so silly. All right guys, let's roll out some cookies. All right guys, so a huge tip for rolling out sugar cookies is instead of using flour on your dough to keep it from sticking, use powdered sugar. It makes them so much more delicious. If you use flour, it just makes them way too flour tasting. So if you just use a little bit of powdered sugar, I'll show you. It keeps your dough from sticking and it tastes 
delicious. Okay, I'm gonna put that a little bit on the parchment paper, a little bit on the dough, rub it around. And you always want your dough to be cool. The cooler the dough, the less sticky it'll be. The warmer it gets, the more sticky it'll be. As you guys saw earlier, we went to this really cute little tree farm and I got these guys. I got this big one, this is big. I'll put it next to my head. That's how big it is, okay? So big, so beautiful. And I had these grand plans of hanging up next year. We're gonna hang them from the ceiling. I got one this size and then I got two little guys. So I feel like, you know, we'll stagger them and hang them from our ceiling in the living room because we have vaulted ceilings in there. But it's three days before Christmas and to be completely honest with you, I don't feel very good. So my decorating enthusiasm is not really there, which is fine. They're beautiful, we still have them. We've been using the big one as like a crazy big door hang. It's been really fun and Liv loves it. So that's really great. I love that we'll have them for next year and we'll have them for years and years to come. They're absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if it's picking up how sparkly and beautiful they are on camera, but they look vintage and they're really pretty and I love the earthiness to the rope and everything. I think they'll just be really classic and really fun. I absolutely love it. I love them. So we'll find a place for them next year. This year, it just didn't happen and we found them so late in the season. We're gonna be taking down our decorations relatively soon. So we're not actually gonna hang those today, but I thought it would be really fun to just show you some of our home decor because I love that and I didn't get a chance to film the decorate with me this year. We decorated so early and it I just did it really slow. So we never did like one really big fun decorate with me. But if you guys wanna see me decorating a tree, I'll link a video to last year, Liv helped me decorate the tree behind me in our bedroom and oh my goodness, you guys. I've already watched that video at least five times. Liv was two and a half at the time helping me put ornaments on the tree. She could talk but you couldn't really understand her so it is incredible incredible for me to have that just, I mean, I filmed that selfishly for me because I want to be able to see her year after year decorating my tree. And so seeing how far she's come just in how well she talks now and all of her coordination is so much better. It's just been really fun. So if you guys want just like a fun, really lighthearted decorate with me, bake cookies with me, I will have that linked above and I'll also have it in the description box down below. I will just show you some of our fun home decor. So I'll just take you around the house Doug and Liv are watching The Grinch because it's almost Christmas and you gotta watch The Grinch. We like the new one with Benedict Cumberbatch, the cartoon, the new one from Illumination. It's my favorite, it's my personal favorite. Yeah, so let's just look at some home decor. Let's. I'll show you our tree and then I'll show you this and then I'll just take you around the house a little bit, show you a little of this, a little of that. I'm not gonna lie, my house looks like a bomb has gone off because I've been wrapping presents with a three-year-old in my office, and we've been baking cookies all day. We've had a ton of different cookie plates. We finished dropping off all the cookies today, and it just makes my heart so happy. After last year where we didn't pass out any cookies, it just makes my, I love giving treats. Like, it's just, I love baking, and I love giving them to people, and it was just nice. We took them to the bank, we took them to the grocery store, you know, we took them to our friends and people that we know, and it just makes my heart happy, and it was fun to do it with Liv. So, I'm literally strategically showing you the things that I want to show you, but know that my house is, boom, bomb. That's okay. That's life. That's real life. 
let's look at some fun decorations because this is my favorite part. Okay, so this little table normally sits over here where my Christmas tree is, but I moved it so that I could still decorate it over here because my Christmas tree fits so perfectly in that corner. So I've got this Christmas tree, which is really cute, really simple. I've had it for years. I absolutely love it. It's just gold and sparkly and it's my favorite. And then every year I love getting new Christmas picture frames. And so I have some with Doug and I's first Christmas. That's Liv, look at little Liv. Little bald baby, absolutely love it. And then I didn't really do like much more than that except for I got this little sign, TJ Maxx. This is my bedroom Christmas tree. The year Liv was born, we put a tree in here so that I could enjoy the twinkle lights while I was breastfeeding, which was amazing. And then it just kind of stuck. Okay, if you guys have seen any of my videos, you guys have seen this background. But I absolutely love this sign, this sleeps till Christmas. It's so whimsical and so beautiful. I got these trees from Target many, many years ago. And then this is my Christmas tree in my office, which these are just really pretty poinsettia flowers that I got from the craft store, probably Michael's or Beverly's. And then I just picked up some bigger ornaments, those fluff balls and the white snowflakes are from Target. Love the simplicity of this tree. I feel like this tree will always looks so fancy and it's so easy. This is my easiest tree to decorate because it's all big stuff. It's not really a ton of ornaments. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys out into the living room, but they are watching a movie in the living room, so I'll just put music over it. So I'll show you that, and I'll just show you a couple other little things. Chilling and having a good, good time. guys that's it for today's really fun vlog I really hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it just brought a smile to your face I hope that it brought some light and laughter to your day if this is content that you guys like to see don't forget to hit that thumbs up and if you made it to the end of the video if you made it here and you're not already subscribed please go hit a little love tap on that subscribe button come join the fam I'd love to have you here if you hit that little notification bell it'll send you a little notification when my next video comes out I put out new videos every Thursday you guys we've got some really fun content coming up in January. We've got a kitchen renovation coming. I think we're gonna be doing some decluttering. Let's get all the old stuff out. The kitchen makeover. We got the demo. We've got the install. We're gonna have to reorganize because you guys, we completely, like the cabinets and everything are gonna be in the same spot, but they're completely different. And now I get to reorganize the pantry and I get to, it's gonna be amazing. I'm so, so excited. It's like dreams coming true. So, Stay tuned for that. We've got some really fun content coming up in January. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified when those videos come out. And that's it for today's video, you guys. Sending so much love to you, wishing you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you choose to celebrate. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye. This is all whole cuddles that we don't use. Oh my God.